Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is time, and we are long overdue, for a full audit of America's gold reserves. Let's explore. I doubt very many people in this community, within the sound of my voice, would disagree with that statement. You know, there have been some folks in various different administrations throughout the last 60 plus odd years that have seen the gold reserves, mainly at Fort Knox. And But there's a lot of questions too. Some people don't believe them. We get grainy photographs of uh, them standing next to the gold. Now, I do believe it's there, but I'm probably in somewhat of a minority of those who think that the gold is there. But regardless, there are some people who feel that we are overdue for a full audit. And there are some of those people who happen to be in Congress. Now, in a recent uh, live stream, uh, it was mentioned that someone had introduced legislation for this, and I was thinking it was something new, but actually this occurred last year, and I was aware of this particular legislation, but we're going to take a look at this and, uh, and, and give us some understanding of how unpopular this idea is in Congress and probably why we will never see this come to light. But let's go through this here. This is from the Sound Money Defense League, uh, press release here from May of last year. U.S. Representative Alex Mooney uh, introduced legislation this week, which was uh, last year in May, to provide for the first audit of the United States Gold Reserves since the Eisenhower administration. The Gold Reserve Transparency Act, which is uh, House Bill 2559er, Backed by the Sound Money Defense League and government accountability advocates, directs the Comptroller of the United States to conduct a full assay inventory and audit of all gold reserves, including any gold in deep storage of the United States at a place or places where such reserves are kept. So this is not just Fort Knox we're talking about. We're talking about the New York Fed and any other place. Uh, also... Uh, as well as West Point Mint. There is a store of gold there as well. All the rest of that gold is stored for the uh, uh, minting of coins. Uh, HR 2559 requires more than just a physical assay inventory and audit. However, even if all United States gold can be physically accounted for, it may nevertheless be encumbered with third-party obligations or otherwise be impaired by bank financialization. Therefore, Mooney's gold audits bill also requires a full accounting of any and all sales, purchases, disbursements, or receipts, a full accounting of any and all encumbrances, including those due to lease, swap, or similar transactions presently in existence or entered into in the past 15 years, and an analysis of sufficiency of the measures taken to ensure the physical security of such reserves. So this is pretty in-depth, and I, I agree. I think that uh, this stuff should be much more transparent than it is. Um, over the years, the U.S. Treasury has faced allegations that it has sold, swapped, leased, or otherwise placed encumbrances upon some of America's gold reserves. There's also this... Um, uh, allegation of rehypothecation, which essentially trade swapping out uh, gold bars um, and reconstituting it in a different form from someplace else. Um, and so there's a lot of questions that have arisen, which has led to a lot of conspiracy theories. The biggest being that all the gold basically is gone. We don't have it. If you look at a chart, we've not added any gold or our gold reserves in quite a long time. Um, it's crazy. Um, over the years, so this is what's been happening here in encumbrances. And at the same time that we're not adding any new gold to our reserves, Russia and China are accumulating physical gold at a rate that experts believe could ultimately threaten the financial dominance 
of the United States and, by extension, national security. It is concerning and alarming because even though we have over, um, you know, 8,000 tons, you know, these other nations are, are creeping up. And any two of them um, together have really could, you know, with their gold reserves combined, going to easily uh, get close to overtaking us if we're not careful. Representative Mooney's gold audit bill seeks to restore confidence in the stewardship of America's gold, a vital and strategic financial asset that does not carry the counterparty risks of unbacked national currencies. The U.S. Treasury has neglected to give the American people an understanding and inventory of our nation's gold holdings, said Representative Mooney. After 65 years since the last audit, the legislation would lead to necessary transparency and accounting for our gold reserves. It also would call for a, an audit every five years as well in the initial legislation. Private gold holdings and precious metal depositories are routinely audited, yet the U.S. Treasury has not permitted an audit, assay, and inventory, independent or otherwise, of America's gold reserves since 1953. Uh, in fact, it was 20 years after that, in 1973, or maybe it was 1974, that the media were allowed access uh, into the uh, gold uh, reserves at Fort Knox, and some photos and video were taken there. But even as such, it does leave some questions unanswered from that time, uh, for sure. In fact, H.R. 2559er provides for the first true and first full audit ever because the audit during the Eisenhower administration was never actually completed. H.R. 2559 also requires a new audit every five years thereafter. Given the strategy and monetary importance of gold, there should be no doubt about its status and security, said J.P. Cortez, policy director of the Sound Money Defense League. And by that, I'm wondering if he understands that gold is a tier one asset uh, designated as such in April, just one month before this article was published in 2019 by the Bank of International Settlements. What is the Bank of International Settlements? It is the central bank of central bankers. That's right. And so that is the, um, and which means that gold can be transacted, and it often is between entities as such, and uh, it can be um, uh, relegated on par with and even above cash. Um, for sure. And by the way, the breadbasket of world current of, of currencies out there, gold being the dominating one, I mean, the dollar being the dominating one, 60% uh, of the world uses the dollar for transactions. And gold is right up there with it, if not above it. Uh, gold transcends all epochs, uh, empires, and nation states, uh, the history of them all. Uh, really, all of the world is founded upon gold as the as the basis for um, financial uh, liquidity. If you think about it, the history of all the nations, maybe aside from uh, South Sudan, which is Amer which is the newest nation in the world, founded on July 9th, two thousand and eleven. There's other uh, you know many states and the like that are out there, but uh, essentially most influential nations. Uh, the world are founded upon the idea uh, that gold is money. And uh, it's in our founding document here, the uh, United States Constitution, um, well, and even the Declaration of Independence. You talk about financial freedom and security, gold is it. But it was codified really in the Constitution at the time. Article continues here, the U.S. Treasury should be held at a minimum to the standards of private owned uh, depositories and public companies when it comes to financial governance. The bill directs the Government Accountability Office to provide the results of the audit to Congress as well as make them available to the public without redactions. And, uh, you know, the, the actual bill itself, um, there is a the text of it is here, and it's really relatively short bill here uh, that it discusses it. I won't go through all of this, but we've outlined it. But what's uh, interesting is the actions that were taken, 
and it's stuck. I referred to, I referred back to the House Committee on Financial Services. There is another um, uh, place called GovTrack.us that tracks these things and gives a little example of um, um, status of where things are in an easy to read format. So it was introduced May 7, 2019. It's still in the first stage of the legislative process. It was introduced into Congress on May 7, 2019. It will typically be considered by committee next before it is possibly sent to the House or Senate as a whole. What's the prognosis? Well, according to Scopos Labs, uh, there's only a 4% chance of being enacted. And um, yeah, that's about right. That's probably a generous chance considering that the Democrats uh, maintain hold and even if the Republicans maintain hold my guess is it probably might double its chance uh, at eight um, percent but even that is paltry you know there's there's probably a very unlikely that it would happen and I'll tell you why most Americans don't care most Americans do not care and in fact I would dare say that if if uh, somebody influential and Alex Mooney, God bless him, you know, he's uh, uh, from Wyoming, uh, not very well known, not considered a high profile congressman. Uh, but if somebody very high profile was to say, uh, was to bring this to our attention, um, it would make Americans nervous. They were thinking, what's going on with our money? What's you know they you know they 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 believe in fiat you know and I believe in the fiat system too we use it every day, but if you're gonna question if you want if you're gonna want to uh, cause concern uh, for our financial situation and the and the strength and the dependability of the dollar bring gold into the mix and I think that's profoundly why Ben Bernanke basically dismissed it in that hearing with Ron Paul. And it is to politicians' best interest that Americans continue to have faith in the dollar. Because if they don't have faith in fiat, then no one has faith in fiat, and it will collapse. Uh, that is the bottom line. And they don't want any inkling, not even a hint, of any kind of issue there with the... Uh, with the with the integrity uh, of that they hold for the dollar. Yea, though, the Federal Reserve as an entity by design, uh, every time they meet, their goal is to debase the dollar, devalue it by 2% every year. And boy, have they succeeded in that level, if not more, by other metrics. You know, the, the dollar's value it has a wide variety of metrics where some things... Uh, are almost near hyperinflationary price pricing, and others are around two one percent. They try to average it out by a, a certain measures of things to get the price to come back into, uh, or the the value to only decrease by so much. With gold and silver, there are the measure of stability, um, or at least they should be when traded as commodities. Um, obviously, it, it, it's seen in a different way, in a different light. But nonetheless, gold is the ultimate store of wealth, and nations know this around the world, which is why they hold them. So uh, when you introduce a bill in the Congress um, uh, to actually hold them accountable for it, it makes them quite nervous, I believe. And, um, and so, but more than likely, with this thing being stuck in committee, probably will never see the light of day. I'd be very surprised to see it ever come out of committee. Uh, but God bless this congressman for introducing it, and we'll see where it goes. Um, but I think that's why you'll never see something like this out there. But yes, it is long overdue um, for an audit of the gold reserves. We need transparency and no, you're not going to convince everybody if we do have transparency and we do these audits every five years. There will always be some sort of question because government's involved. Any kind of time humans get involved with something big, it leaves holes. Or at least the perceived holes that are out there that they're lying to us or they're not being frank or 
they're hiding some things, they're, they're fudging the numbers. We see that already in the banking system with uh, charges of manipulation here and there. This will open up a whole other debate for that. And, and honestly, frankly, I can see why some might be skeptical to do it because, no, because of the number of people who wouldn't believe it anyway. Um, transparency is a very interesting word. Uh, what is government transparency? It's government translucency. Essentially, that's the bottom line. And any kind of uh, opaqueness that will be seen in certain levels of that translucent process um, will cause many questions to arise. So there you have it, folks. Uh, gold reserves. I believe the gold is there. Others don't. That's okay. We need a, an audit. We all agree on that. Post your thoughts below. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.